It's your girl Jasmine K Jazzy J and I'm back with another video. Do y'all see this pimple right here? Mm, yeah, she's saying hi too. Today y'all, I am gonna be showing y'all my luxury wish list. Ah! I'm so excited, luxury wish list. Y'all already know how it's about to go. I've been waiting to do this video because I wanted to get all the stuff that I wanted to have in it, in it for real. So yeah, this is not even all the luxury items that I want, but this is what I'm gonna show y'all. Before we get into this video, don't forget to smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe to no post notifications so you don't miss the video because you don't wanna miss this. I didn't think you wanna miss this, so don't miss this. Get into the video. I plan on getting all of this stuff in the near future, especially with me trying to be as serious about my career as I'm trying to be. I plan on getting a lot of this stuff in the near future. I can get some of this stuff now, but I choose not to because I have other priorities. Some of y'all need to learn how to do that. I consider myself a very high value woman. I have a lot of standards as to how I carry myself. For those who don't know me, I, I'm very high maintenance, very extremely high maintenance. It's killing me right now that my hair and nails are not done. I don't even wanna come on this camera with my hair and nails not done. However, if I did that, <laughs> Y'all will get videos on me a little bit at a time and I will only be able to do videos when my hair is fresh and my nails are fresh. But that is just how I choose to carry myself. I don't do it for nobody else, but I just have this vision of this woman that I would like to be. I have this vision of this woman that I would like to carry myself as. I don't go around with all my goodies out. I'm not the type of girl to sit up and be in nobody's face. I have a lot of class. Most people who know me know I'm a very classy person and that's how I want my lifestyle to be. And these things just kind of add to that. So I mean, I've just naturally always been the type of person who likes like nicer, beautiful things. All right, y'all, but let's just get started with the first. I'm gonna do it in categories, y'all, because I have quite a, a lot of things. So we're gonna do it in categories. I'm gonna try to tell you the price of all of this stuff, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to tell you the price of some of this stuff because I didn't screenshot it. The first category is purses. Mm. I love me some purses. The first bag that I have is this black Louis bag with the red inside, y'all. It's called the On The Go MM. And this is $3,500, $3,500 for this bag, y'all. That is beautiful. You cannot tell me that you don't like that. Like the, the black with the red interior, with the out, y'all, that just screams classy. That, that screams classy, girl, and I love it, and I want it. The next bag is another Louis bag. It's the Speedy. Bandura, hmm. I don't know how to say this, so I'm not gonna mess it up so that I can be a mean. It's a tan color, kind of nudish. I need a nude bag, y'all. Every, every girl needs a nude bag, and this one is perfect. And that one is 2,700. This next bag, y'all, this is a basic bag that pretty much everybody who likes Louis Vuitton would have. This is the Never Fool GM. And this is a big tote bag. I love it. I've loved it since the first time I saw it. I'm definitely gonna be one of those moms who walks around with this big old bag with everything in it. <laughs> this one is $2,100. That's actually not bad. Like, that one is actually cheaper than that um, on the go bag. And it's bigger and it has the red interior, so fine. So this next bag is the Lulu small chain bag and Mat Lasse, Matt Lasse leather, whatever. It's the one that's like a mint green. This is so classy and so like bougie uppity and that's what I am. Like this just screams at me every time I see it. Like it's screaming French manicure, French pedicure, you know, hair done. Slave. This purse is $2,590. So the next one, this is the envelope medium chain bag in mixed matte lace grain day. Poudre embossed leather. This is a leather YSL bag again, and this one is 2590 as well. This is kind of the same thing as the other one. I actually think the chains on this one are bigger, so I don't know too much of the difference, but you know, you can always use a nice little black purse, and I like the details on it. And you know, a lot of purses are black and gold. You don't find too many that are black and silver. You know, black and gold, or black and nude, or black and black, you know. This one is black and silver, and you don't find too many black and silvers, but you know, this could go good with like, you know, a cute little leather jacket with some 
black ripped jeans and you know some heels on if you going out or something like that that's real cute so i want it added to my collection check mark okay y'all so that is all for my purses i definitely want more bags definitely 100 want more bags but i didn't want this entire video to be bags because it literally cares okay so the next category it's going to be kind of like miscellaneous um i didn't know which category to put these two in so this is just going to be these two so the next thing on my list is this coco chanel coco made masala made mojoy it's perfume y'all it's 95 dollars. y'all have never ever paid that much for some perfume i love to smell good and i love the way these bottles look i don't know why it's so appealing to the eye for me but i love it so i want that <laughs> so the next thing i mean la, 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 la. i'm in love and this might be the first luxury item that i get is this versace robe y'all look at this look at it like my favorite color is pink and not hot pink soft pink at that when i saw this one i fell in love but i said oh i'm gonna buy that oh i'm gonna buy that i think this one is 550 dollars. so the next category that i'm gonna do is shoes so the first pair of shoes that i have on here are these christian Louboutin. i don't know how to say that but these red bottom pumps the black ones with the pointy toe i feel like these are just basics every girl needs a pair and i want these ones and i also want their new ones but they don't say how much they are on here so yeah the next ones are these modiva booties i love these so much honestly like i love chunky heels and because they're first of all they're way more comfortable than them little skinny heels they also don't say how much they are but it is what it is. The next shoes are these. They're called the Torita. And they are basically some red bottoms with like a bow tied on it. And I think that is so cute. I love bows. And I love heels like that where it's like kind of like the sandal heel where it has like the strap at the front. I love heels like that. They hurt my feet, but I don't care because I really love the way that they look, especially with a fresh pedicure. Those also don't tell how much they are. Okay, so the next pair of heels that I have on here are the sat Satin satin sandals and lap cord ayers don't know this pair of heels is one thousand one hundred and ninety dollars and they have that fur at the top and like i said they're like this little strappy thing at the front kind of like a thinner strap for two of them and it has that tiny little heel y'all i know that would be a problem for me but i like the fur part so it really made me want it the next ones that i have on here are the cassandra sandals in patent leather with gold tone monogram these are $1,090 and they're YSL as you can see y'all that gold part just does something to me that YSL is so pretty and these are so cute like and they don't look like they would hurt your feet too bad they're so cute and so simple you could pair that with like a black purse with some gold on it and like some gold accessories whatever you want to wear but that is cute i love it all right so the last pair of shoes that i have are these ysl opium sandals in smooth leather with silver tone heel and these are 1090 dollars as well again i love that the strappy um heels i love them love them love them but do y'all see that heel the letters are the heel like i love that that is such a cute detail you could pair it with like like i said like some silver jewelry for this one like these are so cute so classy i could pair this with the purse with that purse that i had in there that is so cute that is so cute so next we're gonna go on to travel y'all well the first thing i have is this key pal bandolari 50 it's a louis vuitton big old carry-on bag it's two thousand five hundred dollars and i just love this i don't i can't tell if that's nude or pink i would prefer it to be pink i plan on traveling so 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 much and you know what check bags are expensive so if this can be a carry-on this gonna be a carry-on okay the next one is this key pal 45b and this one is $3,100. Y'all, I love this ombre color on here. Love, love, love it. I also want the purse that looks like this, but I, like I told y'all, I didn't want to fill this up with purses. So the last thing that I have for travel is this suitcase. It's the Horizon 70. It's $4,150. And it's Louis Vuitton once again. And I'm hoping that the handle is pink and you know, the other little things on there are pink. It looks pink to me, but it could be a different color maybe. I love big suitcases and I love the color pink. I have a big suitcase and it's pink like i said but this suitcase is so beautiful to me i saw it like 
years ago and I wanted it so bad. I don't know if this is the exact one that I saw. Oof, it just does something to me. I don't know, it's just appealing to the eye. The final category is cards. So the first one that I want is a Tesla Model X. Of course, this is gonna be my family car. I want a Tesla Model X. I used to want a white one, but now I want a black one. Look at that, beautiful. Butterfly doors, like this is just beautiful. I know that a Tesla is on like everybody's wish list and if you try to say that it's not, I don't believe you. The next car that I have on here is something I plan on getting like within the next two years. <laughs> it is a, damn, I forgot the name of this. It's this Benz right here. I really don't know the names of Mercedes Benz because there's so many of them, but I know I want the car. This is the car that I want, this specific one, in the color white, which is why I want my Tesla black. I want a black Tesla and a white Mercedes. This I plan on getting like within the next two or three years. The last and final thing on my luxury wish list is another car. And I know a lot of girls probably don't even know what this is. I mean, you probably know the brand, but you probably don't even know what this is. But I know what it is and I want one so, so bad. Look at this. This is a Lamborghini Aventador. Y'all, I want this car so bad and I want it to be pink like this so bad. Like, who do you see with a pink Lamborghini Aventador? A girl at that. Nicki Minaj is the only one that I know that has one. Y'all, this is so beautiful and I don't know what it is, but I live in Indiana and you don't see a lot of Lambos. But it's something about, when I see them and I hear them, it just does something to my soul. Like I just like, oh, follow it, follow it. I wanna hear it red, y'all. I want my own. I want my own. I've come to the conclusion that I want a pink Lamborghini Aventador. That's not like a thing that like girls are into like cars and stuff like that. They might be into like the cute nice cars, but this, I want a Lambo for real in real life. So I'm that, that that's the biggest thing on this wish list and I'm going to get it. I promise you I'm going to get it. All right, you guys, that's the end of this wish list. It was a really long wish list, but I plan on getting every single thing on this wish list by the time I'm 30. That is all for this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video because you don't want to miss this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.